This little devil can spin. It's bendy as a fidget spinner. Um, so I'm going into my open SCAD to design this. And as you can see, the last fidget spinner I almost made but never did was a Halo Energy Sword, which I thought was kind of cool, but probably would have never gotten any views, so I just didn't make it. Um, then I had made a Mickey fidget spinner, which I do have. So there it was with three Mickey heads, and um, a Buzz Designs did one of her own design, and it looks really cool, so I'm not going to remake that one either. And I'll leave a link in the description so you can see her design on Thingiverse. Spinner, I messed up the bendy one, but now I've got it correct. So I um, moved him out there a little further, and what I did this time was I put in here um, an inset for the hex nut for some weight, and I'm going to build that into it. I thought it'd be also neat if the button in the center where the bearing goes would also be a bendy head. Then we get a little real-time action so you can hear how loud and uh, crazy my printer is when it's printing stuff. Okay, while that fidget spinner is finishing printing over there, um, I'll show you. I have a stack of Boruses. I have a real mess here. Um, the bear trap from Hello Neighbor. Surprised uh, it got such few views. I might have to redo that video and make it a little better. Um, we don't want Boris to fall into a bear trap. Well, maybe this Boris can fall in here. Let's see if he works. Alrighty. Ow! That hurt. Okay. Um, make the buttons a lot more tight on there on the on the on the uh, bendy one. But that's the Mickey fidget spinner in real time. Um, the uh, bearing is pretty corroded. I'll have to get some new bearings if I actually decide to uh, release this and actually sell a couple of these. So that was Mickey Spinner. And I had a magnet on here so I could do my little trick shot. I might do that again with the, uh, the bendy one. Uh, teeth are not going to show up. I'm going to have to make them sm uh, wider and maybe fewer of them because at that size my printer can't really do that resolution. That one has one more layer. For whatever reason. Okay, now we chisel them off the bag. There we have it. And as you can see, we'll have to put the bearing in there. But we have spots for the for the hex nuts. Um, but I'll have to make them bigger because they're just too small. Button part so that it'll be another bendy head at least on one side and that should do it. It fits my hand good. I can make it a little bigger um, but I kind of like the smaller ones. Okay and in red You know how they say measure twice, cut once, uh, measure twice, print once, but even though I measured, it still came out wrong because in the design, there was another scale factor that was wrapped around. And okay, so I painted uh, this one up here. Um, I only printed one button. I have to print the other side to make it finished, um, but it's pretty decent. Uh, I'd say it's nearly production quality. The uh, nuts fit in nice and snug and uh, it spins for a good 30 seconds. Now, one thing I have to say is if you're right-handed and you spin it this way, uh, after hitting this a couple times, your finger gets a little numb. Much better for a left-hander. Um, so I'm gonna make the option to have it a right-hand or a left-hand spin because when you spin this with your right hand, it's not horrible, but you can't spin it real hard or it does definitely give you a, a little bit of a numb finger after a while. I've never, I've never sold any of my uh, 3D prints before. Um, and uh, I think this one, I might just decide to sell. Um, I'm thinking $25 shipping included in the continental US. I will give of the, of the proceeds to, uh, to the Meatly 
for continuing the development of this awesome game, Bendy and the Ink Machine. So here you have Bendy Spinner, prototype number two. Um, and uh, I could also give the option to have it painted or unpainted, and I'm sure you could probably do a better job painting. I just rushed painted, painted it. Um, I would love to get my 3D printer up to doing two filament colors and not have to paint it at all. Um, one question would be is would it just be black here or would we do black all the way down around the edge and only the inside be a different color? I think that's probably what we would go with. Um, but again, that could be maybe an option. Totally configurable. We're going to make this fidget spinner black and red because as a kid I always thought those were such a cool color combination. I even had myself some black and red high top sneakers and if you can believe it I thought they were the coolest thing and then people had to point out to me that they were kangaroos and uh, had velcro straps. If anybody grew up in the 80s they'd know what I'm talking about. Um, yeah, not Air Jordans. <laughs>